Hi, I'm Sarah, and if you're looking for the easiest way to get to Provincetown, then you've come to the right place. Provincetown, or P-Town as the locals call it, is located at the tip of Cape Cod in an area surrounded by natural beauty, sand dunes, and beaches. Today I'm going to show you the five best ways to get to this fun Cape Cod town. Let's begin. If you're coming from New York City or Boston, the fastest way to get here is by taking a flight. But if you're coming from another location, don't worry. Cape Air offers direct flights to Provincetown Municipal Airport. Plus, Provincetown Municipal Airport is one of the two airports in the U.S. that's in a national park in Cape Cod National Seashore. So it's pretty cool in that way. To book your flight, visit their website at capeair.com or call 800-CAPE-AIR. Another great option is to take the 80 minute flight that's offered through Shoreline Aviation directly from Manhattan to P-Town. There's truly no faster route for New Yorkers than this one. This flight is seasonal and a one-way rate is $995. For more details, visit flysai.com. You can also arrive by sea. There are two ferry companies that offer rides from Boston. If you take either the Bay State Cruise Company or Boston Harbor Cruises Fast Ferry, you can arrive in 90 minutes directly from Boston. This option will guarantee that you don't get stuck in the busy summer traffic along the Cape Peninsula. Essentially, it's a faster route to fun. To get a ticket, visit their websites at baystatecruisecompany.com or bostonharborcruises.com. A one-way ride is $60. From Plymouth, you can also take Captain John Boats that has a fast ferry to P-Town too. Visit captjohn.com. If you don't have a car and prefer to come by land, we have you covered there too. The Plymouth and Brockton Street Railway Company has offered transportation from Provincetown since 1888. They have regular bus service from Boston, New York, Providence, and Hyannis that takes a little more than driving a car yourself. To buy tickets, visit their website at p-b.com. Tickets range from $1 to $40 depending on where you're going. If you're traveling throughout Cape Cod or P-Town, you can use the public transportation system here. There is a bus system that you can use Flexbus or CCRTA, the bus behind me. A one-way ride is $2 and you pay in cash when you get on. They also offer an unlimited day pass for $6 or an unlimited monthly pass for $60. Another option for transportation is this bus. It's the Funk Bus, like my name. And this is really good for groups. They do last minute booking. So if you have a large group, you can just do this and they can bring you all around. It's kind of like a party bus. If you already have a car, then that's probably the easiest way to get here. I would look up directions on Google Maps. If you're coming from Boston or Providence, Rhode Island, it's about two and a half hours. If you're coming from New York, it's about six hours. But no matter where you're driving from, you're going to end up on Route 6. And just a, a message of warning, it gets very busy during the summer months, so I would recommend trying to plan your trip around when you get on Route 6, which is on the Cape Peninsula. Another option is to take the Amtrak train to Boston or Providence and then take the ferry or the bus the rest of the way to Provincetown. To book your ticket, visit Amtrak.com. Tickets from New York City start at around $50 and take between three to five hours. And those are the five best ways to get to Provincetown. If you're visiting soon, I recommend checking out my other video on Provincetown's culinary scene. If you enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and I will see you next time.